Hey, hey, how we doing? Right, we are live, Saturday stream hype. Have you all had a good Friday? Can you hear me okay and see me okay? Can we have a very quick AV check? To get us going and then I'll I'll talk about what this game is, etc. Answer your questions as best as I can. I've only played this game about 30 minutes just to get into it. And um, so we're going to find out together what it's like. You can hear me 10 out of 10. Yay! All good, sound of visuals, all good. You looking forward to this, Heyman? Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it too. Have you got time for a bath before the start, Connor? I don't know. If you like Mrs. Squirrel, you take an hour in the bath, so probably not. Hey, Mr. D. Can't see or hear you, but what is that behind you? What? <laughs> Perplex, thank you for the resume, and Macam Dan, thank you. Uh, stick 57, dude. Eat, sleep, watch squirrel repeat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, stick. Happy anniversary. Thank you for 12 months. Thanks for 11, Sparrow. And who was the host from? Cleave TV. Thank you for the host. Happy Chop Suey, thank you for 41 bits. Oh, I saw another host. Somewhere. Oh, Jeff Aviano, that was it. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, is this game paid to win? I don't know, German Shrimp. I haven't played enough of it to answer that question. I would be surprised if it was. I think the free-to-play model now has been fairly, you know, well well narrowed down to the fact that, um, you know, free-to-play games generally earn their money by customization and things like this, or accelerated XP. They don't tend to allow you to use premium ammo. That was a mistake that uh, War Game, uh, World of Tanks made. And quickly learn from that one. So I would be surprised if it's paid to win. Irish Winter, thank you for 200 bits. Hope all is well. I'm doing well, thank you, Irish. Happy anniversary. Northern Axe, thank you for the host. I'll be playing with Alex later, but I'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, Jaffa Cakes, 26 months. Time's going fast. Munro, MCS, with a year. <coughs> Another one with a year. Uh, 12 month hype, been on holiday for the past week in Linth Linlithgow. I also went over the new Queen's Ferry Crossing Bridge. Exciting, nice. Not been over the new one. Macam Dan, thanks for two years. Uh, that time again, BFG Drifter, 60 months, keep up the great content, and Nozzle with the resume. Thank you very much. I haven't got a spaceship, so I'm having to use the uh, the good old Lydia ship. <laughs> Frosty Jack, good afternoon, Paul. Got a nice letter from the wonderful tax people yesterday offering a 3,887 tax re pounds tax rebate. Well, who am I to argue with them? Those lovely people. Love, love the stream as always. Dude, I have, like, the most I've ever had out of the tax man is about £30. I can't believe that. 3800 What the heck? Well, good luck to you, sir. Good oh, yeah, luck yeah. to you. That's awesome. Take a holiday or something. Circuit Borg, thank you for the resume. Um, Mikey, how did your evening go last night? Pretty well, Mikey. Had a very nice meal. A good time. Really good time. Had a lovely meal. Uh, it was like a four-course meal with wine, so it's quite nice. Jules, hello, mate. Oh, Jules with the delivery instead of bits. That's unusual. Right. No, I'm not playing it all day, Squirrels and Nutter. Um, right, here's the plan. Okay, first of all, let's get this out of the way. <clears throat> this is Dreadnought. This is a free-to-play game. This is a sponsored stream, right? Now, it's one of the first sponsored streams I've done, so it should be quite exciting. Uh, what that means is... The people who make this game are basically paying me to play the game, to stream it, to showcase it, right? I don't know an awful lot about it. I've played half an hour. Uh, they're not paying me for my opinion or anything like that. They're just paying me to show you the game. I'll be streaming this until about 6 o'clock-ish, something like that. At 6 o'clock, uh, or thereabouts, between 6 and 7, um, Northern Alex should be jumping into my Discord. And uh, what will happen then is I will change game and uh, I'll probably grab a pizza or something like that, 10 minute break, and then we're going to carry on. So me and then and Northern Alex are then going to play Spin Ties Mud Runner, which I'm sure you know comes out in about a week's time or something like that, which is the successor to Spin Ties. So that's what's, that's what's on the plan today. We've got Dreadnought till about 6 o'clock, and then Spin Ties from about 7-ish. Approximate times. There's nothing, nothing fixed here. Uh, Super Sobes, thank you for the bits. For Sunday Night Trucking, are you going to try the ATS-129 public beta? I don't know. I noticed it came out. I noticed there's stuff in it. 
Um, haven't had a chance to look at it yet, Super Soaps, because it was out like a good chunk of yesterday and stuff like that. So uh, I may do. I may go to the 129 beta. We'll see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does that answer your question anyway? So it says sponsored in the title. That's a requirement of having a sponsored stream. It says sponsored in the title. And if you want to know what this game, there's a command that the mods can run, which, which links you to the game. If you want to play it, because it's free to play anyway, so it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, Russi, B1, 16 months, thank you. And Crazy Gigs, thanks for the resume. I believe that, I don't know if any of you have played this game before. I believe this game, uh, you can squad up in it and, and play with other people. So if any of you guys have played it or have it or install it or whatever, I'm quite happy to add people in the squad because, you know, it's safety in numbers and all that. So I don't mind if you want to play with me today. That's fine by me. Jules, I finally fixed PayPal that way. Ah, got you. Thank you, Jules. Zinam, yo, bro. Trucking into Donna meat and chips for lunch, dude. <laughs> what are you like? Okay, so let me explain what I have learned about this game so far. And then we'll play it and I'll show you some stuff. Crazy gigs, 32 months, close to three years. Yeah, boy. Um, basically, it's all about spaceships. So the nearest thing that I could uh, liken it to that I've played before that you've seen would be something like World of Warships or World of Tanks. I think each battle is 8v8, I think, but there are different game modes uh, that you can play, but more about that later. There are five classes in the game, and each of them have like a different uh, speciality, let's put it that way. So the biggest, the biggest ship in the game is a Dreadnought, which is one of these things. Uh, the, the Dreadnought is mahusive, quite frankly. Yes, it's free to play. Uh, the, the, the Dreadnought is like the tank. And this is the other thing I noticed about this game is it has, um, it has aspects to it of like, like, uh, role-playing games, like healers and damage dealers and tanks. It has those kinds of feels to it. This is the tank, essentially the Dreadnought. It's heavily armored, has very big guns on it and moves very, very slowly. So, um, Demps, I, I don't believe it's paid to win, but we'll see. It's free to play. Circuit Borg, 21 months. Will I reach 22? Yes, I can. I don't want the fun to stop. <laughs> Thank you, Circuit Borg. Getting close to three years. Crazy gigs, 32 months. Yeah, boy. Uh, so the Dreadnought is the, the damage dealer in, in all of this. And then you've got the, let's see, the Tactical Cruiser. Now, the Tactical Cruiser, at first, I thought was, you know, like World of, World of Warships has a cruiser and they're kind of like a middle ground. Not so in this. So in this, the tactical cruiser is actually a healer. So this ship has not much ammo, but what it does, if you play this, you basically fly around with your other ships, and not only can you look at them and heal their armor up, but you can actually deploy like mobile healing stations, and then your other ships can clump around it and just get like pulse healing coming off it. So um, if you've ever played World of Warcraft, it's like a shaman healer. <laughs> <laughs> it's something like that, is what the tactical cruiser is. Then you've got uh, the artillery cruiser, this one here. An artillery cruiser is basically a giant cannon with engines nailed to the back of it. She's designed to decimate targets from a distance. A well-placed shot from the main gun can cripple an oh, enemy ship. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of moving parts means not a lot of armor, so she's not going to hold up for long at close ranges. Keep an eye out for aggressive maneuvers from the faster enemy vessels. Okay, so... Uh... He just explained that one. Basically, it's a sniper. You you stay at the back and you snipe with your big artillery gun. But if you get somebody on you, you're going to get wrecked pretty quick. Bugsy, good day, Paul. Love your streams. I'm doing a 9 VTC in ETS2 tonight for Truckers MP to your birthday. Keep up the good work. Enjoy, Bugsy. Have fun, dude. Uh, so this is the... Uh, this is the tactical cruiser, which is basically a sniper, a hunter, a long-range attacker. That's what he does. You know, he sits there and kind of pummels dreadnoughts from a long way. That's how you play. I've not played that one yet, but that's how you play it. Uh, Trond with two months. Uh, well, that was much better. Look at those two months. Hey, take my money. Thank you, Trond. Jules, Storm Brian has definitely arrived in South Wales. Uh, how was it and how are you, mate? I've not really seen much damage at all. It's mostly hit the southwest. It's, it's windy, but it's nothing like a storm. So, uh, you know, I've been fine. Uh, Charlton, 3393. 
Two years, been a while since I caught you live. This looks a very interesting and beautifully shaded voiceover guy salesman. <laughs> Happy anniversary, Charlton. Enjoy the golden acorn, well earned. Uh, Callum, thank you for the resume. The clumsy Welcome geek. Back. 12 months, not been around for a while, super busy, but still more than happy to support the best streamer out there, one year hype. Clumsy Geek, thank you for your support, whilst not being able to watch, that's very, very epic. And Edgy, thank you for the resume. Irish Winters, this game is like Star Citizen in, in, in a, a way just less broken. I, I don't think it is, but I don't know. I've not really played Star Citizen that much. So that's what the Tactical Cruiser does. And then you've got the Destroyer. Now, I played this uh, briefly yesterday morning for an hour. Uh, well, half an hour, actually. And I had an absolute blast of a time. The Destroyer is is like middle ground of everything. has decent armor, decent maneuvering, decent damage, and a lot of guns. And I was chucking out... I was killing a lot of people with this thing. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. What I was doing was hanging around near Dreadnoughts and Healers and then just dishing out damage. Uh, so that's what the Destroyer does, so I might play that in a minute, um, because it was great fun last time. And then there's one other ship which I don't think I have, which is the Corvette, uh, which I don't appear to have on here. Is there a Corvette? I've not played a Corvette at all. Quite more. Oh, I see. I think maybe... I oh, there's a Corvette. Right, so I have to unlock it. Uh, so the Corvette is like this tiny little ship, and it's a bit like... Um, it's a bit like a hit-and-run guy, a bit like a rogue in Warcraft or a destroyer in World of Warships. It's a kind of ship that's small, very fast, uh, can just go around like a fly, just buzz around and just do damage. So you've got those five classes, and uh, I'm going to start off with the destroyer, but I think what I want to do is try and research something, because I think I've got this one, the destroyer. I've got some uh, things I could unlock. Let's see what we can unlock here. Guns and stuff. Edgy, 13 months. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Edgy. Um, so let's see what we've got. We've got five different kinds of modules. We've got primary module, which I think is some kind of weapon. Uh, secondary module, which is salvos like torpedoes and stuff. Uh, perimeter module, I think is protecting around the ship. I'm not sure. And then an internal module, which... Use let's have your a look. internal module to enhance systems such as movement and weapons. This will give you the edge in critical moments. Well, there you go. Let's have a look at the research tree for that, then. So, with this, you can... Module... What does that do? Module cooldown reduction time. Okay. <clears throat> so, that basically... If you put that module and research it, that will reduce your cooldowns, which is nice. Happy anniversary. Uh, super sobers, no problem, bro. No problem. Stay safe. Uh, Pugs are Josh. Four months till two years? Oh, yes. Uh, this is the Protean Auto Gun Perimeter Module. So that will increase your DPS by 100. Nice. Flap turrets. That's your secondary. Primary module. Tempest Missiles will increase damage by 1600 and increase the missiles by, num by two. Torpedo Salvo. Right, let's have one of them. Uh, research for 350. Torpedo Salvo 1. Purchase now for 400. Okay, we've got ourselves a new Torpedo Salvo. So we've got this now. Now there's, there's three types of currency up here. There's free XP, uh, credits. Credits can be used to purchase ships, modules, weapons and officer. They are earned by completing battles and contracts. Welcome back. Uh, and then you've got your gold, which is like real money. Twitch have drained all the power for TwitchCon. Rip. Uh, Dan Baker, thank you for the resume. So, can I research anything else? Or am I... What have I got? So, XP-wise, I've got 1299. So, let's go for this one. Reduce the cooldowns. How's the night out? Very good. I had... Uh, Gin and tonic, some wine, four course meal. <laughs> the starter was like some weird salmon thing. Um, and then it was uh, roast potatoes, lamb, carrots, mint sauce, um, you know, the usual gravy and all that kind of thing. It was really nice. And then it was, uh, what was dessert? Dessert was strange. It was some kind of, 
thing. It was like a soft... What was it? I don't know what it was. Something with a pineapple on top. I have no idea what it was. It was quite nice. And then we had cheese and crackers and stuff. Right, we've got that fitted. Let's go and uh, let's get into the game now, and you'll see what it's like. So I'm going to take... Oh, and then you can adjust the appearance as well. So with the appearance, you can basically um, change the look of the ship like that. Like different skins and stuff that you can put on it. Make it look cool in battle. You had a roast on Friday. Yes, I did. So it looks like you've got a, a coating, a pattern. Oh, look at that. That's actually quite cool. An emblem that you can put on the front. No way. Look at that Grim Reaper. You love cheese and crackers. Yeah, there was like three different kinds of cheese. Decals. I like that. That's currently on sale. 25% discount. What does that say? I can't read it. Bad Bun Secret. I think it's just, this pretty much only you's going to see it. I doubt it's worth spending money on... Uh, on tier one stuff. But I do like that uh, that rabbit. I'm not sure what that is. Hole. Nothing on that one. Ridge stern. Dunno. Anyway, let's play. So uh, destroyer. Right, so if we click play your battle stations. The Reaper is awesome. When you, when you click play, you go into battle, and then you choose the class you want to play. If this game is free, then it's paid to win, then they have to make Donald. Spatial Dragon, I, I think you don't understand what paid to win is, as opposed to free to play. Free to play is not paid to win. They're two completely different things. Paid to win is when you need to spend cash to actually get an advantage in battle. That's paid to win. Free to play is where you don't have to pay to play the game. You can earn XP and earn everything else like without spending money. That's free to play. Right, select a ship. I'm going to go with my destroyer. So basically, everybody up here is now choosing what class they want to pick. You can see there's a tactical cruiser there. We need some people with dreadnoughts, really. Don't think anybody's chosen a dreadnought. Which is not good. We've got plenty of cruisers in here. There we go, there's the fleet. Normally, Dempsey, you can buy premium accounts which will accelerate your XP, yeah, on free XP and things like that. That's normal for free to play. The, a pay to win game is where you, the only way to earn things like premium ammo, extra damage ammo, is by paying for it. If you've got that, that's pay to win. But I don't believe this game has it. Attention, all ships, eliminate incoming enemy forces. Right then. So, across the top there, one, two, three, and four, we've got my different uh, weapons and modules. If I hold the E down, I can put power uh, forward into movements, into damage, or into shields. So I can basically adjust, like bring my shield up with my energy beam. And so I put more energy into shields, things like that, or I can put to F1. Fusion reactor is overheating, putting energy system offline. Yes. So you can't, you can't, uh, you can't keep switching. There's a cooldown. And then the difference is you can basically go vertically like this. Let me bring the sound down a touch. Let me know if that's too loud. Uh, it's not perspective, Spatial Dragon. It's just facts. It's pure facts. Pay to win and free to play are not the same. It's not an opinion. Keep pressing the wrong key for up and down. These guys are staying pretty far away. I think cover's quite an important aspect of this game as well.
No, I do opinions, but that's not an opinion thing. There's a big guy. We've taken the lead, Captain. Get behind this mountain. Uh, hey man, I don't know where the edge of the map is exactly, to be honest. Target locked. I launch torpedoes. Enemy warheads lock on our position. Right, so something's targeting me, so I'm going to dunk down this rock. Because I think there's missiles coming in on me. Yeah, how do you change from the flat gun, then? Uh, German shrimp. I'm trying to work out how you change to the, uh, the main... He just got wrecked. That's a Corvette, I think. Yeah, normally I have a, like a main cannon gun. I think so, Failing Judgment, except there are differences that I explained earlier about the different classes. Like you've got healer classes and stuff, which you just don't have in World of Warships. How do I change to my other weapon? See, I'm getting healed. That's the healer. I launch torpedoes. Uh, the other ships are people. Taking a bit of a risk here. Deploy damage control teams. Missiles have firing solution cap. We're locked on, Captain. We can't reboot again. We just did it. Fire missiles, I Captain. All silos reboot. I pushed myself out here a bit too much. Hing! Torpedo away. Where's my healer? I know I'm not reaching the enemy, I don't understand why I've got this weird gun now, because I didn't have a weird gun before. There's my healer. See, that is that is not in warships. I don't know how to get rid of this short range uh, gun. Is that because I upgraded the module, perhaps? Maybe I just have to get in real close for this gun. That's just not reaching. We've been hit hard. Damage control teams dispatched. Got to reload. Stand by. Rip. <laughs> yeah, I'm scrolling mouse wheel. Activating module reboot complete, Captain. Let him loose. Reloading missile silos. Maybe I just need to shoot missiles instead now. Autoguns fired up. You know what? I'm just gonna go in there. Reloading autoguns. Get the healer. I clearing torpedo tubes. Get wrecked. <laughs> Those guns are pretty powerful up close. Torpedoes need more time to reload. Launching torpedoes. He's so dead. Hostile attack 
cruiser going down. That's a sniper, dude. We got him, Captain. My team's healing me, which is completely awesome. Like the only reason I'm staying alive so long is because my team's just constantly healing me. Back to my healers. I right, put it all power. power to maneuvering thrusters. Wow, look at the speed when you put the. Um... We've got torpedo lock, Captain. We've got to wait for the autoguns to recharge. All silos launch missiles. We've got this battle in the bag. Let's finish them. Reloading silos. Press two or three or something. <laughs> Just mash the buttons. System drained. Can't find anybody. Uh, I don't believe it's on Steam. No, you download an installer. Some fire being exchanged here. Oh wow, most of my tops just slammed into the rock. GG. I think I need to target the healer. Need to take the healer out. Always take the healer. Kaboom! So, I don't know. The last time I played that destroyer, I had like a long range gun. This time I seem to have a short range flat gun, which I think may have been because I upgraded something. Let's see what I did on the scoreboard. I got five kills. It's not so bad. I didn't die because of all the healing. Um, Benna, can you use my command to do it? And then when people click the link, it'll be tracked so the sponsor's happy. Rather than posting the link straight to it, please, Benna, thank you. There's a, there's a command you can run. See, if you click that link instead, my sponsor goes, Oh, people clicked it. That's nice. Right. What I need to do is go back to the hangar and work out what went wrong with those guns. Valtiel, thank you for 22 months. Space game hype. You. I'll give you higher level access to the Okeanides. You can now warp into a wider range of battles. Okay, so now unlock different kinds of battles. Uh, did a T1, let's claim that. Successfully claim reward. No, no worries, Benner. No worries. Um, what a name is Sim Driver, dude. <laughs> 36 months, Sim Driver. Thank you so much. Failing Dutchman. For some reason, I was unsubbed, but fixed the mistake. Here you go. Fifth month, Paul. Thank you, Failing Dutchman. Uh, Dan Baker, thank you for 10 months. <clears throat> I, th I don't think I've missed anything. <clears throat> right, so I had the Agosta, and my primary weapon, primary weapon was a repeater turret, and yet I was on flak turret. Why was I on that one and not that one? This is my main gun and I wasn't able to use it. Just looking at the keyboard shortcuts. One, two, three, and four. One is your primary, two is your secondary, three is perimeter, four is internal. Okay. Ah, is that because, hmm. Did I definitely just play with the Agosta? Something not right here. Not because of what you upgraded. That's what I can't work out. What did I just... Because I researched this, didn't I? Tempest Missiles. That's... Oh, primary module. Yeah. I basically replaced my gun with Tempest Modules. That's what happened. 
It was down to that research. Your ship's secondary module complements your primary, adding another layer to your combat style. Okay. So that was a destroyer, so let's try... Choose your battle before you request nav beacon calibration. You what, mate? <laughs> you what? Have a look at my hangar. Let's try one of these snipers. Never played this sniper before. This looks fun. What's that up there? T1 module plane. Uh, fully research a T1 ship. Gives you a thousand credits or something. So there's like mini achievements you can do over here. You just woke up. Welcome to Saturday, Sim Driver. Uh, if I downloaded it, what's uh, what's your group name? I haven't created a group. I don't know how we do it. Um, squad. Here we go. Squad. Form a squad with your friends to go into battle as allies. One squad member can search for a battle on behalf of the whole squad. Click add. Click add to squad on a friend to start a squad. Okay. That's interesting. Contracts. Can I just create a group or something? Your friends list gives you I have no friends. database. You can keep track of any captains you've recently met in battle and add captains to your list so you can see their status. It's a good revenge tool. Um. Yes. I don't know how we do this. Is that button there? Back. Not a... It looks like I need to add somebody as a friend in order to um, create a squad or something. <laughs> <laughs> like me, no friends. It's Doug. Thank you for the resume. It's Doug. Code Red Ranger. Thank you for 28 months. So, anyway, if you want to try this game, um, click the link and um, download it, install it, and then we'll work out how to do squad thing. Oh, there's no friends. Right, I'm going to try this thing. Let's just jump into battle on default, because I don't have any XP. Oh, I have 493... What's that? 3 XP? Uh, I don't know. Not house. Ex Volios. Or Zvolios. I don't know how we say your name. <coughs> Can we give Ex Volios a nutty welcome, guys? Thank you for your support, and welcome to the house. If I don't have any friends on Steam... I, I minimise my friends on Steam. Siege mode. Tell you what, let's just play it. Find out what it's like. Um, select game mode. Uh, face off against an armada of enemies. Reach the score limit before the enemy team dies. That's team deathmatch. Survive and eliminate the enemy team. Team elimination. Proving grounds. Fight against rogue captains to prove your loyalty to Cindy Bay. You what? <laughs> 10 gig left, Sanji. Okay. Team deathmatch. Let's do that. Seems fair. Spinning up the nav beacon. How does a company make any dollars off a free-to-play game? Uh, Spatial Dragon. The the way free-to-play games generally get money is from people who buy premium accounts uh, or buy in-game gold, which you can use to customize your ship, but not in a way that gives you an advantage. That's what makes it pay to win. Uh, so if you can buy different skins, different, you know, styles, things like that, um, that's where they get their money from. And from people who have premium accounts, so they level up quicker. Let me see. Artillery cruiser. I have no idea how to play this ship. This should be fun. Uh, Bandita, it's kind of like World of Warships, but in space. Think of it that way. So, Team A, Team B, try and kill each other. Uh, different classes of ship. This is a sniper class, so I'll have to stay out of the way and try and snipe things. What I found interesting about this game, though, is the fact that it has a healer. That changes things in a big way. <laughs> All hands to action stations. Prep for combat. Let's run out the guns. Right. Siege mode N is my primary. Flechette missile is my secondary. Anti-missile lasers is my close and stationary cloak. Oh, I've got a cloak. I'm like a Klingon. Oh, this is an interesting, man. Plenty of cover. That's my sniper. Let's go up here and see if we can pick people off. 
Uh, there's no sponsor, sponsor code German Shrimp, uh, but if you're going to download the game, if you could click my link, that would be grand. Thank you. Can I shoot this guy? I don't know what the range is on my gun. Oh my god, that didn't look good. We've taken the lead, Captain. I'd like to think that was anything to do with me, but it wasn't. Oh, hello. Shield activated. I don't want a shield. Thank you. I got an assist. Fusion reactor is overheating. Put the energy system offline. I take it he's out of range because I'm not getting a red X. Is it earlier? At oh, that's another sniper. That's another sniper. Why is that not hitting? You're dead, mate. Oh my god, what was that? He did some kind of AoE on me. You clicked it, thank you. Come on. So I seem to have a gun range of about 7k, something like that, from what I can work out. Oh, that's a Corvette, I reckon. Support fire over here. Oh, I mean, nearly died then. Heavy damage across multiple systems, Captain. That got him. Get wrecked. I need a heal. I need a heal. 6.6k. Oh my god, what was that? Uh, red. Shield activated. Countermeasures activated. You got him, Captain. Scratch one artillery cruiser. Oh, nice heals, bro. Fusion reactor is overheating. Put the energy system offline. See, healers make a massive difference. We need help out here, Captain. Quite fun playing a sniper class, actually. He's going to come out there, isn't he? He's getting healed. He's got a bag healer. Uh, it's MP. Shield activated. Something going on below me. Something going on over here as well. We're getting killed out here. Shield activated. Where's the healers? Very sneaky, like snipers. Hi, Captain. Activating. Oh, he's gonna outrange, scumbag. I need to go after this guy. Can't let him live. Full power to maneuvering thrusters. That's a Corvette, look. Super fast. Flechette have positive lock. Incoming, activate. 
Activate countermeasure grid. Laser defenses are still down, Captain. Fusion reactor is overheating. Oh, God. Clean energy system offline. Wowzers. <laughs> Somebody up above. Captain, we're gaining ground out there. How big is this game? What do you mean? Do you mean installation size or or what? Countermeasures recharging. Oh, downloads 22 gig. Something behind here, look. Okay, he's dead. Mr. Kinducci, how you doing, sir? Turn that music down. <laughs> it's actually a bit annoying. Oh, I just got wrecked. No. <laughs> I died! Great suspense. Cause of death. Like two destroyers or something on me. The space to warp into battle, press X to show loadout. Warp in. So down the bottom right it says 68 over 60, so what, 68 points, first to 100 maybe? We're taking them down, ship by ship. I don't want to get too far away from the rest of my fleet. Can't play a game in third person. I think these kind of games are better in third person. First person in this game would be really, really restrictive. And you wouldn't really get the sense you were in a ship. You'd kind of feel like you're walking around space. It'd be weird. Activated. It's like they're not even fighting back. <laughs> Fusion reactor is overheating. Put the energy system offline. Go on, back up a bit, dude. There's still an element of aiming, though, because, like, particularly when they're moving vertically. Which I like. He's getting mega heal, that guy. Well, I just can't damage through that heal. We got him, Captain. I need to get out of here quick. No! Uh, Warp and Sue. I've not tried it, crazy beef. Peter built four months space to Final Frontier. These are the voyages of Starship Squirrel. Thank you, dude. What have we not got? We've got... Um... Oh. It's over. Yeah, so that guy I was shooting had like two or three heal beams coming in, and I just couldn't damage through that. But he, what I was trying to do was get out of the way, get healed, go over the top and get the healers, but I died. SF Giants, almost there, 23 years. Thank you very much. Uh, Arrakis, you're like the David Attenborough of Sim games. Lol. 
I got six kills, two deaths, two assists. Eh, I'll take that. Jump to the hangar. I might try a Dreadnought. Let's see what, um, what stuff's available now. I've got 4,000 points on it now. Let's have a look at the modules. So, light flak turrets. Let's see. Primary weapon. Siege mode N, siege mode 1. Number of shots, plus 1. Maximum damage up 2,000. We'll have some of that. Four minutes left on your download, Sanjit. You'll have to let me know what your in-game name is. Right, so I've now got that upgrade. Flechette missiles, anti-lasers, stationary cloak. Duration 13 seconds. Now, I didn't use the cloak in that at all. Maybe I should have done. See, I like that, because with that, you can move yourself out into space somewhere, then just cloak, wait for them to come past, and then be like, pew pew. Uh, Zinam... Have a look in Discord, Zinam. Have a look in the announcements section on Discord. Jules! Are we there yet, Kappa? <laughs> We're not yet there, Jules. Happy anniversary, Nata. Uh, Flushette missiles gives you another eight. Blimey. Love that as well. I don't think ATS New Mexico's out yet, is it? Spatial Dragon? It's probably just prep work ahead of it. Yeah, that's all we know. I think the blog... Excuse me, didn't the blog say something like New Mexico is the one that's nearest completion out of all the DLCs I've got? Can I get all of these? I need to fully research the ship and then I'll get that achievement top right. I don't know, Yoshi. I'm not sure, mate. In the morning when I get up, I'll have a look at 129 beta and work out if a lot of my stuff is going to break if I use it. There you go. So I've just unlocked everything. I've researched all of the tier 1 stuff. Which allows me now to unlock this thing for 1200, which I could easily do. Fully researched T1 ships. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, right, that's different, isn't it? Tech trees. Does it mean... Every single one? Oh my god. All your mods on 129 are broken. Oh wow, really bugsy. There's random events in the game now. Yes, I know, Yoshi. Funnily enough, didn't I ask for that? Probably about two years ago. Talking about random events and scripting. I'm pretty certain I did. <laughs> Dreadnought. I might have a go to Dreadnought. Secondary weapon, primary module. The plasma broadside. Give me some of that. Right, let's go and play a Dreadnought. 